Mining is about recovering precious ore, but sometimes miners have to recover something else that's precious, human life, and that's where mine rescue comes into play. The most important thing to come out of every mine is the miner, because um, without the miner, you know, you don't have production, and there's really no point if um, you can't do something safely. Montana Tech kicked off its mine rescue competition event that featured three mining schools from the region. Members from Rosebud Mine Rescue Team from Coal Strip held a demonstration involving rescuing a wounded man from the top of a head frame. Montana Tech mining professor Scott Rosenthal played the role of the injured party. I had the easy part. I just had to keep my arms and legs inside the vehicle at all times. <laughs> <laughs> so it was uh, really smooth and comfortable. These guys know what they're doing. Never, never had a worry at all. Even though there was one tense moment at the beginning. Uh, you know, I'm actually not the biggest fan of heights. <laughs> which is odd because I'm usually the one doing this, but it's not too terrible once you get over the edge. This was the first time Montana Tech hosted this event. It's a great networking opportunity for all the students. Um, some of these people that you meet here, uh, you could potentially end up being on a professional mine rescue team with. So I'm here with Alec. He's with the South Dakota School of Mines. He's wearing a Draeger BG-4. This is a breathing apparatus that he wears on his back. So if he's going to go into a situation where he's got to wear this, there's definitely trouble and it's dangerous. And uh, you're definitely going to want these guys and gals on your side if you get in trouble in a mine. You know, we're all workers. We know the mine better than anyone else. So we know exactly where to go, best way to get there. And we care because it's our co-workers, you know. The event will continue Saturday with more training and competition. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News.